Hey guys, so today I have my long-awaited Bath & Water semi-annual sale haul. This time around, I think I went a little bit overboard. Um, I bought a lot of things online, and I also went in store like the first week of the sale, so I kind of went crazy. I'm still waiting for a couple of my online orders to show up, and I just received one of them today, so that's pretty good. I have a few items quite a few items that I want to show you guys and I will make another haul video once my other stuff come in so <clears throat> so I decided to buy some body care for my coworkers for their birthdays or for Christmas and stuff like that just to have gifts around like in hand so I got the cucumber melon lotion The shower gel and the matching spray. You can never go on wrong with um, cucumber melon. It's a really good scent. I also grabbed the Sweet Escape Strawberry Picnic Lotion, the shower gel, and the matching spray. And the last trio set that I grabbed in store was the stra er, Bourbon Strawberry and Vanilla in the Ultra Shape Body Cream, the Shower Gel, and the Mist. Next, I have a lot of things for myself. The rest of the stuff I'm going to show you are for me. Um, so I grabbed another cucumber melon um, body cream because I did have one and I used it up already so I decided to grab another one because I do like it in the body cream. So I got that for myself. <clears throat> then I grabbed the Nourishing Apple Extract Body Wash. This product I have never tried before, so I'm kind of excited to like use it. Um, and to go along with it, I also grabbed the Nourishing Apple Extra Jelly Body Lotion. So those will be fun products to try since I'm all into like trying new products. So I also grabbed the super rich moisturizing body wash in beautiful day i decided to grab it because i have never tried their moisturizing body washes um so i decided to give this one a try since i do like beautiful day um they had like moonlight path and love and sunshine but i really wanted that one so i grabbed that one also in Beautiful Day, I grabbed the Foaming Sugar Scrub since this one was on sale. Um, they also had the other two scents, Moonlight Path and Love and Sunshine, but again, I like Beautiful Day more, so I grabbed that one. Um, can't wait to try that one. Next, I have a couple body butters that I bought. I grabbed the um, Hello Beautiful. Now this one... Um, smells more floral than the other body care products so I'm not sure how I'm gonna like it since I don't like floral that much but I'll, I'll give it a try just to see if I like it or not and then I grabbed the Japanese cherry blossom and this one surprisingly smells lighter than like the body cream because like the Hello Beautiful one smells very strong but this one isn't as strong which I'm kind of surprised but I'm still excited to try those. I never tried their body butters. I have one in Beautiful Day, but I haven't tried it yet because I got it in the summer, summer annual sale of 2018, so I still have yet to use it, but I, I'll use Japanese Cherry Blossom now since I feel like it's a winter scent, so. Next, for myself, I grabbed the Sweet Escape Strawberry Picnic Shower Gel. Now this scent I, I like, um, I haven't gotten it since it came back out. Um, I had it before in the shower gel and the spray, 
but I felt like the spray didn't last too long, so that's why I never repurchased it. But I smelled it in the shower gel again, and I actually really like it, so I'm keeping the shower gel, not. <laughs> I don't need the spray. I have too many, so that will be fine for me. I also ordered the lotion to go with it, so because I have the travel size lotion and it smells so good, so I decided to grab it in the lotion as well. Next, I got the Love and Sunshine Shower Gel. I actually got two of these. I was actually debating on getting three because I wasn't sure if they were 75% off when they moved it to the 75% off table at my store, but they were, so they don't have any more left. I know they don't, so <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with the two I got. Um, this scent, I think, is going to be discontinued. That's what I've heard, so... I just decided to stock up on the shower gel because I do like this scent in the shower gel. Next, I got the Power Lifter Activated Charcoal Face Mask. Now this I have never tried before. It's from the Active Skincare line. I'm actually kind of curious to see how it works. It was 95% off. It was like 4 something. But since I do like face masks, why not? Um, I'll give it a try to see if I like it or not. Next, with the face mask, I only picked up three. I picked up two of the Cetox Mermazing Sheet Mask with Sea Minerals. These two were 75% um, off, so I grabbed those. And then I grabbed this one, which is the Rejuvenating Sheet Mask with Pumpkin Enzyme. Now this, I did not want to pick up. But I needed to spend $40 online, so I had to like, throw this in there. Um, I don't know if I'll keep it or not. I'm still thinking about it um, because I don't really like pumpkin that much, like the scent. So we'll see. I'll think about it. I grabbed a wallflower pack in Vanilla Snowflake because I do like this scent and I wanted some backups. So I decided to grab one of those online. I'm almost done. I grabbed the Jamaica Pineapple Colada hand soap. I picked up two of these because um, it's a staple for me in the springtime. It smells so good. They were on sale for $3 as well as the Tahiti Island Margarita. This one is so good. I love it so much. Can't wait to get more wallflowers in this. So yeah, that was my semi-annual sale haul the first time around. Um, the next two haul, well the next haul will be like what I got online and stuff like that. And hopefully if I, I'm still trying to find the 4 ounce candles that are on sale for like 3 bucks usually on, in the sale. So I haven't found those yet but they might show up maybe towards the end of the sale because that happened last summer in the sale. So hopefully I find those because those are the things I really wanted. I really like those candles. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching. Bye guys.